Live Bangkok. Live Golf is back for its sixth event at Bangkok's Stonehill Golf Club this weekend. It is Live Golf's third event in five weeks as the league ramps up its events towards the end of its season. Live will have its 12 teams, all of its best players, and the usual Live vibes at the tournament before the league visits Saudi Arabia next week. Finally, the season finale will be played at Trump National in Florida at the end of October. In Liv's first year, it will have played eight events in three continents and really disrupted professional golf as we know it. Liv has signed 72 golfers and has grown in strength and popularity over the past few months. So what to look out for? As with every Liv golf event, this one has lots in store. There has not been any signings since the Chicago event and Liv Golf seems pretty happy with its roster at the moment. Only Hideki Matsuyama is still being pursued this year. Although we can look at Patrick Cantley and some of the other popular Asian golfers to possibly join early next year. With the field remaining the same, will we see another interesting tournament on the course? The defending champ. Cam Smith is the defending Liv champion after winning the previous tournament in Chicago. Smith earned the win over Peter Illen and Dustin Johnson. Wacky Neiman played really well here and we wonder will he respond. Bryson DeChambeau and Matt Wolf have also been playing very well. With the end of the live season in sight, you would think that players may just begin to bring their A game. The four aces. Dustin Johnson, Patrick Reed, Taylor Gooch and Pat Perez are members of the four aces team. They are running away with the league after winning the last four three team events. It will be interesting to keep an eye on these guys to see if they can continue. DJ won the last event individually, which helped his team's cause. Reed and Perez haven't been in the best form recently. Taylor Gooch was in Europe this week and in order to try gain more world ranking points. We wonder how that will affect him and if he can help out his team much. Taylor Gooch also received from very negative criticism by most staunch DP World Tour players and fans. Gooch had never played European golf before and realistically took the place of some younger European players who had a chance to play on the European flagship event. We just wonder will the negative press and reaction affect his game at all. The individual standings. The inaugural 2022 Live Golf Invitational Series includes a season long points race to crown the individual champion. Each of the seven regular season events will award points based on individual leadership results. The top three players in ranking points will receive bonus prizes from the 30 million purse, with the individual champion receiving the top bonus of 18 million at the season closer in Miami. We have said it so many times though, as fans, we don't care about how much the golfers receive. We just want it exciting. Liv are creating a points-based system for winners in order to find the winner of the league at the end of the season. For each event, the top 24 receive points. First place is worth 40 points and it works its way down from there. Only the top 24 players, half of the 48-man field, will receive points. Those who finish 25th or below will not be eligible for points in that tournament. As it stands, Dustin Johnson is top of the field with 118 points. He has a pretty commanding lead over Brandon Grace with 79 points. It looks like he'll get figured out this weekend. However, Cam Smith, Carlos Ortiz, Taylor Gooch, Matt Wolf, Schwartzel, Stenson and Reed are all within 8 points of a third place finish, which is still worth $4 million. The Saudi royal family have already paid DJ millions of dollars due to his wins in Saudi and now his team and individual performances on the tour. If he continues playing well and scoring points, he'll receive another 18 million at the end of October. Even typing that sentence has made me laugh. The money is absolutely unbelievable. The league format is similar to the FedEx Cup, but it's maybe a little bit easier to follow. It will be another good selling point in Liv's second season along with the team aspect. Punch Golf Club Punch Golf Club is the all-Australian team consisting of Cam Smith, Mark Leishman, Matt Jones and Wade Orsby. Now we have already talked about the embarrassing live names and what they can do to change them, but we just wonder if the winner this week will come from some of these guys. They could well be the team to beat. Cam is playing incredible golf at the moment and his playing partners could be inspired by that. They are the team I'll be following next week. The final thing to look out for is for the controversy and the press conferences. So far at every Live tournament, the press have pushed these golfers on their reasons for joining Live, 
sports washing and battling against the PGA Tour. In particular, the international players may have a lot to answer for after they had been excluded from the PGA's President's Cup. The President's Cup pitted the best international players not from Europe against the USA's best. Cam Smith, Leishman and Neiman would have been definites for this tournament had they not joined Liv. The press will definitely be all over this question. The press conferences go live during the week on YouTube and they're always great to watch. Live Golf will begin on Friday the 7th and the tournament continues until Sunday the 9th of October. Once again, it will all be live on YouTube. The shotgun start makes an interesting viewing and it is a good product to watch. We can't wait for another weekend of exciting golf. So let us know in the comments if you will be watching Live. Who have you got for the individual winner and team winners? We think Cam Smith and his team Punch. As always, thanks so much for watching our channel. Please like and subscribe for regular golf news and opinions. And as always, thanks for watching.